So the next resource booklet is called uh, The Vertical Farm, which is an innovation by uh, Paul Matovu. Paul developed his innovation for Kampala, the capital city of Uganda, which is a city with a really high population density. And the vertical farm is a vertical gardening system built into a box. Again, similarly to the other re resources, there's space for students to do some research about the country and to reflect on the sustainable development goals that this innovation works towards. So one of the things that students can have a go at is actually making their own compost. And the way they can do this is just to get some old kind of plastic tub. Um, if you make sure that you drill, and again, maybe this is where as a teacher you do it rather than students, depending on how much you trust them. Uh, you just need to drill a load of holes all around it in the, the bottom. And what you can then do is you can, into your container, you can start to layer up different layers of compost. So what we have here are some food scraps. Um, so we've got a load of those, they can go into it. We've got things like cardboard, as well as things like soil. And what you can do is with your students over time, you can build up the layers uh, and actually see how things develop over the sort of coming months, I suppose. In the vertical farm innovation, they actually use worms, uh, specific worms for composting, which you can buy online um, if you wanted to add an extra element to your project. But this is the kind of thing that you can maybe try and do within the school. So there might be food waste that is left over from lunch times, perhaps. And then maybe the compost you make can then be used in the school garden, perhaps, depending on what your school has. But there's something else that you could try doing, and this is the kind of vertical gardening using a load of old bottles. So what you need are just plastic bottles. Uh, you just trim the top off it, and actually we've got one over here. And this is something that we made where um, we've got the soil in the bottle, there's some holes in the bottom to let out uh, any extra water. And what you can then do is if you drill holes at the end, you can then hang these up. You can have many of these on a wall and you can actually use this space, which traditionally hasn't been used for growing vegetables or food. Uh, and this is something which is, again, uh, a possibility of maybe trying to feed more people, especially as the population becomes more urbanised and actually using all of that space which is available. Uh, again, you can encourage students to try and design different models or perhaps using the deck set if it's if they're limited to having to do this indoors, maybe thinking about how they could design a lighting system for their um, vertical garden. So again, like all the resources, this you can you can find out more information, you can spend a bit more time really reading into it by going to the STEM resources website where again you can print off a PDF copy that you can use with your students.